Hi everyone, it's Allison from the Protocase Designer team. So today I'm going to talk to you about adding an SVG file to your design for graphics in Protocase Designer. This is a continuation of our other tutorial called How to Add Digital Print and Silkscreen Graphics, which covers all of the basics. So if you aren't familiar with adding graphics in Protocase Designer, that's a good place to start. Before we really dig into importing an SVG file, I just want to go over image files in general. There are two main types of image files, raster and vector. Raster images are created with pixel-based programs or captured with a camera or scanner. So examples of raster images would be bitmap, PNG, JPEG, and GIF. Raster images are widely used on the web. Vector images, on the other hand, are created with vector software, and they're very common for images that will be applied onto a physical product. Vector images are mathematical calculations from one point to another that form lines and shapes. So if you zoom into a vector graphic like I'm doing with the circuit board image, it will always look the same. Examples of vector files would be SVG, Adobe Illustrator files, EPS files, DXF or DWG. PDFs, they're a little tricky. They can be either raster or vector. It all depends on how the file was created. One quick way to test whether your PDF image is a raster or vector is to zoom in 400%. If the image pixelates once you zoom in that far, like on this one, you can see that it's a raster image. But if it doesn't pixelate, like on this image, it's a vector. You can't simply save a raster image as one of the vector file formats to create a vector graphic. It will still come out pixelated if you try to zoom in. For all of these reasons, we require vector graphics for your design in order to be able to properly digitally print or silkscreen your graphics onto your enclosure or panel or part. Of course, if you need help, our graphics team is happy to take your raster image and create a vector file for you for an additional fee. So in Protocase Designer, you can either add bitmap images or vector images. But if you add a bitmap image, the software is always going to prompt you to add a vector image if you have it. You can add vector images like Adobe Illustrator, EPS, DXF, DWG, or PDFs. However, one thing to note is that they actually won't be displayed in the software. Our graphics team will add those vector files before your order is manufactured. For all of these reasons, I recommend importing a scalable vectors graphics file for your graphics, if at all possible. An SVG file is currently the only vectors graphics file type that will actually be displayed right within Protocase Designer. And when our production team actually makes your enclosure, the graphic will come out crisp and true to what you envisioned. One thing to note, if you're using software like Inkscape to convert your bitmap image to a SVG in order to be able to import it into Protocase Designer, you may encounter an issue. If the graphic doesn't look quite right when you import it into Protocase Designer, you need to go back to Inkscape. In Inkscape, make sure to select Unflow in the text menu and then save as a plain SVG. Flow is used by default, which will make you unable to import the new SVG you just created into Protocase Designer unless you disable it. You can find more information about this on our wiki. I have one more tip for you. I recommend having your graphic resized to the size you require before importing it into Protocase Designer, just to streamline your work and save you one extra step. Okay, now let me show you how to import an SVG file. I've got my Signal White five-sided enclosure open in the 3D Model Viewer Protocase Designer. Right now I'm going to add a logo to the cover. So on the left-hand side I need to click on Edit Face and then click on the section of the enclosure I'd like to edit, which in this case is the cover. Now that I'm in the Face Editor, I'm going to go to the Mode section on the left-hand side and select Graphic. Under Create, Draw, I'm going to click on Image. Once I've selected image, I just need to click somewhere on the enclosure, which will bring me to a pop-up menu where I can find my graphic. And here's the graphic I'd like to use. It's a Protocase logo that's an SVG file. And now Protocase Designer is going to import it. If it's a large file, it may take a few moments to import. So here's my graphic. I can move it around so it's in the place where I want it and also resize it if need be. 
Now I'll click on the green check mark to accept my changes. Okay, so I'm back in the 3D model view, but you can see that my graphic looks very pixelated. In the face editor, it looked fine. Well, this is all because of my settings. If you see the same thing when you upload a graphics file to your design, you just need to change your image render quality settings. So from the 3D model in the top menu, if you click on Edit and then select Preferences. Display Settings is the second tab. The very first setting in that tab is the silkscreen slash digital image render quality. Here you can see a slider where you can change the render quality. I had set mine really low, so I'm going to slide over to a higher number. Staying around the 70% mark is a reasonable default to stay at. However, if you want to choose a higher number, if your computer will allow it, that's totally fine as well. So then I'm going to click on finish and I'll go back to the 3D model viewer. So here you can see that my graphic looks like what I was originally going for. So these are all the steps of importing an SVG file. If you have any questions or want any additional help, please feel free to check out our wiki and forum. We're also always here to help by emailing info at protocasedesigner.com. Happy designing and thanks for watching.